Hi, oh, this is Harry back again just with a bit of an update on my half X water cooling case. Um, what I've done is I've got the bottom radiator in down the bottom, the push pull fan on the back. I've got the reservoir in place and I've just started to do my acrylic tubing. Um, this is this is my first ever attempt at bending a tube. I put a red mark on it for the bend. This, this is just my practice, the first ever one I've ever done. Um, I have my little jig set up here with all my marks on it to bend the tube. Uh, diameter of my block there is 38 millimeters. I have a flush line at the front, center line, 245 coming off it. I got a spare one there, acrylic tube, heat gun, and this was the first one I I did, and that was for coming out of the CPU block and up to the back of the radiator, 360 60 mil rad, and a half. And my second. This is my second bend, this one here. This is the second bend, but I took the tube out and I shouldn't have taken the tube out. As you can see in the bottom, see how it's just got a slight difference in thickness right there. You can see where I could only get the tube to it. And that one goes in there like that. And I know it fits because I there you go, fits in there like that. So I know that fits in there, all I've got to do is now bend the clear piece to go in there. Um, I don't know how, um, right what I'll do is I'll just get set up and I'll get the camera rolling so you can see me do that. Okay, I just put the heat gun on. I run the heat gun on number two. I just switch it on at the wall. And turn it on. So I've got a mark on here, and I heat it up around there. I hold it about. Three inches away, right, so I'm going to heat up quite a good section of this so I can do the two bends at the same time. Hopefully, because the last time I, I did it. I took the tube out when I did the first 90. I'm in no rush to do this, so I just take my time, which is the best way to do it. Don't rush stuff like this, it will pop up. I'm just keeping it turning and having a little bit of flex in it now. There's not enough. You get, I'm going to say you get used to how much it should flex, but <laughs> so I, this is all my, this is my fourth piece of bending, and I want to get this. Correct. I'm just keep going. 
going back over quite a big area. What I'm going to do now, I've got my mark down here so I can bend my first one. Oh, it's not hot enough yet. Seems to cool off very quick. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bend the one. I think. I'll do the one and I'm going to leave the tube in this time. There you go, that's better. Put it to my mark, hold it tight, just ease it round, hold it on my points, and it feels tight to my line. Sometimes I just over bend it a fraction. I just let that cool and then I'm going to go straight on to the other one. It just takes a couple of minutes just to cool it off. I'm sorry the hand is in the way, but I've got it on my line here and on my 90 there. And I've got it tight around my jig. And the offset on this outside of Outside of pipe to outside of pipe is 30 millimeters. So that there could be good. So what I've got to do now is I'm going to put this like this. I've got a mark on here. So I go line that up down there with my eye, and when I bend this, just gonna, I've got to heat this little piece up here now. But I've got to get it right close to the bend as before. Go in. Right, let's try that. that 90 degrees, got my mark on there, I'll just hold it on there for a second, it's nice and 90, it's just slightly off, but maybe this one will come out slightly better if I heated the pipe up enough, it should be okay, so I'll just turn the gun Okay, I'll just turn the gun off for a second. Just hold this on my mark. So I say outside of It does get quite hot. Just let that cool off a bit. Just check I've got that correct. Yeah, see, I got two marks on here. Outside of outside is thirty millimeters. I think I don't think that's quite wrong, but. 
should be okay. And then I just rub it until it's still a bit warm. If we move the tube out, hopefully. There we go. Give it a bit of a tug. And if I show you that, I don't know how good this is going to come out on the camera. But all you need to do and then that should go in the thing. All I need to do now is cut it to length, which I've got my I got my other one here which I can use. Right, I'll get it cut and then I'll show you it within in position. Hopefully it fits. Right, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> 